So we are going to continue with tutorial 8 on our Spring Boot Time Leave uh, web application. And today we are going to add a button to be able to add a date and delete. Maybe we can start with the easiest one. The easiest one is to add item. So let's quickly get started. I also like to remind you to subscribe to my channel. So for us to do that, we are going to add the J JS files for jQuery and Spring Boot, the script files, to our web page. So let's go to the web page. So this is our web page. Uh, we are going to go up here and we are going to add the scripts tag, scripts, slash scripts. And this time we are going to be adding the type of script is equal to tests and JavaScript. And then the SRC, that's the location of the scripts. Uh, let's start with, let's start with the bootstrap and then we go to JavaScript. Oh, Let's start with Bootstrap. This is Bootstrap. So the location is uh, Resources, WebJazz, Bootstrap 4.3.1. So, okay, so let's see. So I'm going to say location is uh, WebJazz, WebJazz, mm -hmm, slash, Bootstrap, Boots, Trap slash four point three point one slash um, JS slash. So it's located inside here. So it's bootstrap mean the JS bootstrap. I want to use a minified version slash boots strap me uh, bootstrap dot mean dot JS. Okay. So there is the bootstrap file. So the next one is the jQuery file. You know, I'm going to paste it. This time is going to be uh, WebJazz jQuery. This time jQuery should be jQuery is 3.4.1. 3.4.1. Uh, jQuery mean the JS. Jeffery dot mean the JS. If everything is fine, it will be okay. So the next thing is we are going to look for a model form or a pop up, and then put an add button on the on the page so that this add button, when we click on this add button, is going to display the model pop up or the the model uh, form. So to do that, we we can go to the uh, Bootstrap. Uh, website and find a, a form template. So I'm going to say bootstrap model. So let's go to model bootstrap and if we scroll down, we look for anyone that has a form and it's going to be this. So you can see this one has a form input. So that is what we are going to use. So let's just copy it to our page. I'm going to copy this, just copy it and just paste it in our uh, not here and just paste it in the page. Normally I like putting it right down here. So the idea of this form is example model. I'm going to change it to add model so that it, 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 uh, it's for adding new items to to the page or to the, to the database. And then we need a button that is going to launch this form. So that button is also there. So it's going to be this first button. So I'm going to just copy it and also paste it there on my page. So let's put it on top, up just above the table. We can just put this button. So instead of using an example model, we are going to use add model. So at this point, I'm going to save and I'm going to relaunch this application. So hopefully at this point, when we click on the, on the button shows up and we click on it, it's going to display this form for us. So Tomcat starts, uh, okay, so I'm going to go to my web page. So I'm going to refresh it. Okay, so this, so nothing happens. So that is, let's see. So the first thing I'm going to do, let me change the name of this form. So I'm going to change the, what displays on this form is going to be, add new okay 
So let's take out the two or three rock here. Yeah? I'll take out three rock. And then let's check. Um, maybe we can just take out the TS. What just bootstrap? Let's see if I got the name correctly. Bootstrap 4.3.1. Okay. So let's relaunch re 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 this application again. So while I wait, I can just check Bootstrap 4.3.1 JS uh, Bootstrap main. Okay. So there is a working code I have just in case. Bootstrap 4.3.1. Okay, so now it's running, so I'm going to just refresh the page. It didn't refresh, what happened? Okay, because I have not saved it, so I'm going to save and just refresh. So let's see what happens here. So the, okay, so boot, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, Tomcats have started, so I'm going to go back to the page. I'm going to refresh the page so it shows add new. If I click, nothing happens. So let me get a working code and let's see where we are going wrong. So this is a working code. So I'm going to paste this side by side with the one I have so we can figure out where the error is coming from. So for jQuery is jQuery 4.3.1. So jQuery is okay. In case of Bootstrap, we have WebJazz Bootstrap 4.3.1. Okay. Oh, I'm saying Bootstrap. Bootstrap. So it's actually Bootstrap. So now I have a typo. We have Bootstrap here. So I'm going to just add it, bootstrap, but uh, what just bootstrap, bootstrap 4.3.1, and we have js slash, okay, so I'm going to take out this, so we have bootstrap, everything should be fine, so I'm going to relaunch the application, so some of these types sometimes can be frustrating if you don't know how to debug. So as a programmer, you need good debugging skills. In fact, debugging skills is actually more important than actually knowing how to write a program. Because you cannot, you actually need to be solving problems. So I'm going to refresh this page, and hopefully this form will actually load at this point. Okay, so, um, so I'm going to simply Replace this, the save it, and I'm going to relaunch the application. Alright, so let's go back to refresh. So add new, so you can see that the form displays now. Okay, so the nice the next tutorial now we are going to now modify uh, the form to be able to actually insert data. So I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe and also if you have challenge following this class, leave me a comment below in the comment box below this video.